Hello, everybody. Good evening and welcome to this uh, last appointment uh, for this series of webinars. Let's discover the Volumetrica trading platform. Um, I guess all of you can see my shared screen. I'm showing you the disclaimer uh, as far as us concerned this webinar. Um, today we will be talking about the, uh, the that will be the final part of the entire uh, list of topics we have talked about for these uh, 10 weeks. So uh, finally, we're gonna talk about uh, a very simple and uh, quick setup uh, you can use to validate all of the informations you can achieve to the, to the uh, analysis of the uh, many uh, indicators and tools uh, showing what volume actually is telling you about the, the price of, uh, for example, so this is something that you combine with the volume profile, something you can combine with the with an evidence uh, given by the VWAP. It is something you can combine with information given to you by the uh, vol analyzer plugin, so the delta and so on. So uh, finally <laughs> today, uh, it will be something that would finalize a little bit what we have talked about over these weeks. Uh, before we get started, let me just remind you, uh, those are the, those are the, the last days you can benefit from the promo on in collaboration uh, between tick mill and volumetrica trading uh sorry just give me a second so i can show you uh okay here it is sorry about that um if you are a tick mill customer already you can get the Volsys platform for a special price with special conditions. Uh, if you are not a tick mill customer yet, you can still uh, ask for a volumetric team for the for a for a free demo uh, by filling out the contact form at the uh, at the volumetrica trading website. And for anything concerning the topics we have talked about over this webinar, uh, please feel free to email me at the Be Educators page. Uh, this is my email address. You can email me and uh, ask uh, information about things we have talked about. So maybe how to use an indicator, how to set up volume profile and so on. I'll be glad to give you a reply. All right. so. Uh, let's get started. And uh, last time, and we get on what we were saying last time about footprint chart. So footprint chart, we said this is the main tool uh, of order flow analysis, one of the, uh, the one of the most popular tools used for uh, to conduct the proper order flow analysis. And uh, as we were saying last time, it provides us precious information about uh how the price is actually exchanging uh in terms of interactions of buy com buying buyers compared to sellers over a specific price area or over a specific uh, range of prices and uh, last time we were talking about two different uh evidences that footprint can give you uh, the first one is given by the horizontal delta, uh, the calculation of which is given by the, uh, the color you can see here on the cells of the footprint candle. So where we have uh, green, uh, dark green coloration colors, uh, that means that we have here uh, an interest, more uh, an interesting more buying, aggressive buying over that level than compared to sellers. And this is something that it uh, shows immediately as looking at the chart. So you can just have a look at where uh, the darker shades of green and red occur and then 
just at a glance you have an idea where uh, buyers are more interested to buy and selling are more interested to sell. Uh, the other evidence is given by imbalances. So we said imbalances occur when you have uh, pink coloration, magenta coloration here uh, of the numbers. So when instead of black, when you have a number inside the, the candle colored in magenta, uh, that means that an, um, an imbalance has occurred. Uh, what is an imbalance? It is uh, buyers, it, if we have a buying imbalance, we have buyers uh, overcoming the num number of buyers, overcoming the number of sellers by six times, according to these specific settings I've been talking about over the last few webinars, six times. Okay, so of course, as you can see, we have 16 here buyers, 16 buyers here, then compared to two sellers being located at the lower level than the one where the imbalance is being shown, that shows that making a diagonal comparison between buyers and sellers, we have uh, buyers being six times the sellers, actually. And Unlike, unlike horizontal delta, there was a, the one I was telling you earlier, so showing by the color of the, of the squares here, showing interest of buyer more than sellers, imbalance shows pressure. So when we have an imbalance, we always have an evidence uh, of price starting, starting to move quickly in a direction rather than the other one okay so there are actually many other informations you can achieve through the foot through a footprint chart like for example where buyers get, get trapped or sellers get trapped uh, sometimes we can also detect where uh, stop loss of other traders get triggered uh, but this is something more uh, advanced in terms of analysis uh, we don't necessarily of course if you want to uh, read the footprint chart very in a very accurate way we need to know this all but if we want to just conduct a simple but proficient analysis uh, we just need two main evidences that means let me just summarize it this way wall a wall built by volume followed by a pressure so both of these elements are expressed very well by the by both evidence I was telling you about a little bit ago <laughs> because actually a wall we have a wall given by dark red colors or dark green colors the color being dark that means that lots of volume has been traded on that level in that direction. But then, of course, it has to be uh, combined to price action. So let's assume, for example, here I had lots of buying pressure. Did the price actually move up? So that means where buyers, they've, bu they've bought a lot, but with all of that buying, were they able to move the price where they want it? So upwards, question mark. We'll give an answer to this in a bit. And then after, pressure. What is pressure? What, ex what does express pressure? Imbalances, actually. So buyers getting more aggressive and six times 
sellers or, or vice versa. Sellers being more aggressive than buyers and six times them. Uh, if we combine those two points together, we will uh, have a very simple way to understand uh, how prices uh, interacting over a specific level and first of all mostly uh, how uh, buyers are interacting with sellers because we have the biggest evidence of wall building when when we have there are just so many examples in the chart because actually market is always exchanging the very same way every time we have we can spot many sellers so we have an evidence of many sellers interested to interest to sell but price responds immediately going the other way this is why i was talking about wall about the wall that has formed over a specific price area why how can we read this information and interpret this information how come couldn't price move lower considering there were lots of sellers selling apparently if we get back to the market structure market microstructure sorry we have talked about a couple uh, weeks ago how is it that possible the only way something like that could be possible it's because apparently there were many buy limit orders so passive buyers being on the order book on the ladder absorbing all of this selling pressure being on at a certain stage then even if they uh, even if they sold a lot i've just stopped selling but a lot of pressure has occurred on that level so this is what creates a wall into the market this is also what is called absorption this is another actually representation of what absorption is we have we have talked about many other things over the last week so how to the how we can detect absorption in different ways using delta using volume profile levels and so on but this is uh how tick by tick an absorption takes place and this is actually a wall market was trying to push lower just uh it didn't make it but is this enough is this really enough to tell from here market will just turn around in the other direction well not really not really but this is for sure what it gives us the evidence of a support detected by the order flow sorry my mouse is not collaborating today <laughs> when we have an absorption an absorption as an order flow event we can consider that as a support because the action of by passive buyers uh, blocking actually sellers means that that was anyway even if there was a, a, a huge amount of selling it was it is still a level where buying as one so we can consider this order flow event as a support as a, a proper support not given by uh, a price level or a graphical pattern it's just an order flow 
support, a support given by an order flow evidence. Okay, uh, let me just quickly see the chat. I can see there is, oh yeah, <laughs> I thought there was a question. Anna just said that's absorption, exactly, exactly. Very, very, very good. This is pro a proper absorption. And actually, as you can see, it also happened in another bar uh, earlier as I was uh, talking about the uh, wall and the balance and whatever. Here it happened, it happened once again. Also here, well, price was already moving higher, was already trending up, just started a slight retracement here. Sellers came in, came into the market, tried to push price lower, but actually all of these sellers were completely absorbed and price started to move upwards, continuing the previous trend. Okay. Once again, can you see here lots of selling, lots of selling, prices moving slowly upwards but we can already tell here price is building is trying to build a support okay as i was saying this is a very good support actually i'll tell you why in a bit but <laughs> a support it always needs to be confirmed in order for us to uh, make a trading decision on that level, on that order flow event. Why? Because, yeah, that means, that's true. This support price has been hold, held, okay? So it can be considered as a support. But even if buyers have won, there is also lots of selling in this area i mean this is objective we can we can tell there is lots of selling interest in this area so is that is that really enough for for a long trade as soon as we see a support not really why because considering there is over an absorption area, lots of selling pressure, that means that many traders were anyway interested to sell that level. And we won't have price be trading the other way until we see buyers aggressively coming in coming into the market after the absorption has happened. Here, specifically, I said this was a good support. Well, it looked like a good support, even if it just got broken a candle after that. But still, it is. Why? Because we have a wall being built with three different levels of absorptions. We have a slight, as you can see here, imbalance, 27 buyers over four sellers. There is just something missing. Buyers keeping on buying. And first of all, we don't have that much of an evidence right here at this level. So if you want to be using this principle of order flow then, so we want to double check if a support is gonna hold we always need to wait for a first evidence that this level is being 
treated as a support both in, ter in terms of order flow and also in terms of price action we would we, we, we need to see price moving away a little bit not that much i mean a move that we can notice a noticeable moving away process from that area and then observing what happens when that area gets pulled back because in this sense what happens normally when those areas of absorption gets pulled back we can either have a, another absorption so exactly over that area we have set the very same thing otherwise we can see an exhaustion so low volume trading over an area where at the previous trading moment we're exchanging lots of volume absorb absorption always take place with with high volume but as we said when we have lots of high volume we always had we, we also had acceptance of price so there is interest to transact in that price area price prepares to move away from an acceptance area when a low volume trades in that area after price was held with high volume so ideally either we have another absorption at the same level confirming we had uh that support which is actually being treated as a support once again otherwise we need to see an exhaustion so basically price comes back doing something like it did let me show you an example if i can find one Yeah, some, uh, well, not the best actually. Uh, I'm going to find one soon. Yeah, something like this. So we can also have a look together at a, at a different of a, of a selling absorption. Here we had buyers not making it to move the market. All right, dark green bar moving down. When price pulls back, do we have another absorption? Not at all, as we have light colors shading. But what do we have? A exhaustion. Can you see that in this, the same area, volume trading is very low compared to the previous candle where absorption took place. This also counts as a possible confirmation because if absorption creates a support exhaustion or a resistance as in this case exhaustion doesn't really create a support or a resistance it occurs just because buyers or sellers just stop buying or selling so uh price can react quickly after an exhaustion but is not a level uh that will hold because of a, of a high volume has been traded over there so in this case when we have an exhaustion along with the exhaustion 
on one side, in this case, the buyer side, we can see nobody was selling here, buying, sorry, here compared to here. What do we need to have the whole structure confirmed? We need then sellers starting to get more aggressive. So we need to see selling imbalance to the opposite side to the absorption, uh, sorry, exhaustion expressed by not so much buying over here. In this case, if that happens pulling back previous absorption, then we have our order flow events confirmed and we can make a trade decision. Of course, this is not a, a setup. I mean, it can evolve in a, in a setup, but there are many variables to be looking at. But as a, as a sequential, as a sequence of events, it is definitely something really, really powerful because if you combine these to structural level, to volume profile levels, to many things we have talked about over the last weeks, then you will notice that on important levels, especially volume profile levels, north and south of distributions, we will always have an indication given by the order flow of what the price is creating that structural level of the order flow of the volume profile and this is uh, something that i really uh, it is quite hard to ex explain ex explain all of the variables in just an half an hour but i really hope uh, all of you could could use can use in the in the future this concept we have talked about in this in this series of webinar and of course if you want feel free to email me and ask some more questions uh i'm just gonna answer uh to luku um which uh we have four um uh, ask me a questions here in the chat if i have an account with tick mill that I can only get Boltz's platform with this offer. Uh, all right, yes. Uh, yeah, the, the offer, the specific offer applies to Boltz's platform. Uh, so basically the discounted price. Uh, but still, uh, if you want to uh, add some other tools, some other plugins, uh, they will just come with the plain, uh, with the plain price. Uh, but actually, you can uh, you can do it. Uh, you can do you can add the other tools by starting the. I'll show you very quickly here in my screen. All right. So if we, uh, sorry, all done. There we go. Okay. So if we. Uh, once you start the, the purchasing process, then at a certain stage, you will ask if you want to add some more, some more tools, like for example, yeah, the volumizer plugin we were talking about a couple of weeks ago, uh, or if you want to buy the ball book, the ball book, uh, platform, which is another, which is another different platform we haven't. Uh, covered with this uh, series of webinar but anyway you can have discounted price for the bolsis platform uh which is uh the, the main the main platform actually uh to be using what we said over this uh over these weeks and then also do you have any educational video about the platform could you show us to connect out the data feed or stock trading via footprint chart uh yes uh then is the Volsys platform have an advanced dom like jigsaw trading or book map yes uh Volsys platform comes with an advanced dom uh which is something that you can open uh like this if we start from the main menu and we 
choose new yeah between the options we have an advanced DOM and of course we have to choose the instrument we want to have that shown on and then here it is so uh, then we can uh, customize uh, the columns in terms of colors in terms of uh, if you, we can trade uh, the DOM level uh, just by clicking here on the right or left to the price if we want to according if you want to put a sell or a buy in order and uh, so yeah this is 100% custom is a, you can um, depth of market you can customize uh, and also add column to to it like for example if you want to see the limit orders being shown as volume profile or just numbers okay uh all right uh, i thank all of you for your attention it has been really a pleasure for me being together over these 10 weeks uh if you want some help uh, just email me uh, i'll be glad to to give you a reply uh i wish you uh good evening uh good trading and thanks again